Hey guys, hello everyone, and welcome to All About Chemistry. Now, in this particular video, I'm going to address a very important question uh, that why this quantum chemistry seems to be so difficult, or why it is like quantum chemistry uh, is the particular topics in our chemistry uh, like whole syllabus, which is so difficult to approach, right? So I'll be addressing this particular question. I'll be talking about what are the problems with it and how you can improve this. Now, if you are a beginner, if you have just started studying quantum chemistry or quantum mechanics or quantum physics, whatever you call it, uh, then this video is for you. Now, before I start talking about all these things, if you are new to this channel, I'll suggest you to subscribe to this channel, like this particular video for awesome videos for chemistry, for, especially for CSIRnet, gate tifr and uh, national level exams right also for iit jam so let's go straight into the video Alright, so physics basically is divided into two forms. One is classical physics and the other one is quantum physics, okay. Uh, the part of quantum physics which is applicable on chemistry is what we cover in the quantum chemistry. So, I'll be talking about quantum physics and classical physics first of all. Now, classical physics is the physics which you all might have studied already. Uh, the physics or which is governed by actually Newtonian law. Newton's law actually governs that particular physics. Now that is applicable, that classical physics is applicable over all the things which you see in your macro world. Uh, it is applicable on the motion, it is applicable on the movement, if it is applicable on throwing a ball. So all these kind of different physical uh, phenomena or physical uh, like behavior you have seen that how you have uh, applied Newtonian physics over there to calculate them or to identify or to solve them and to understand those problems, right? So it becomes very easy to relate. Uh, from the normal world or from the usual world through the Newtonian physics or through the classical physics. In the quantum physics, the things are a little different. Uh, here, the things are not that relatable. Quantum physics works at subatomic level, that is at electron and proton level. So, uh, since we cannot see those things by our naked eyes, we cannot look at them. So, it makes the phenomena a little absurd that we cannot see that things, we cannot see the things actually happening. So that is the first point which makes quantum physics or quantum chemistry a little difficult that is less relativity like you cannot relate that particular uh, phenomena or whatever you are studying in the books whatever you're studying in the theoretical physics uh, that you cannot relate in from the real world so that is the first thing uh, which makes quantum physics different from the classical world. now the second important thing is uh, in the quantum mechanics if you open up the textbooks and all you will find that it is full of derivations, mathematical equations, mathematical derivations. So especially for those students who are non-math students, especially because we in our education education system, we uh, have two types of students who study chemistry, those who have physics and uh, mathematics background, also those who have biology and zoology background. So those who have biology and zoology background or botany and zoology background to be very precise, so those students they don't have that much knowledge of mathematics, especially the calculus mathematics, that is the derivation, integration, and these things which have been utilized in the quantum physics, especially. So for them, it becomes very difficult to understand that what is happening in quantum mechanics and how the things are being derived. So when the things become complicated, they just leave the topic and they don't pay much attention towards it. So this is something which is very important. This is the second point that it is full of mathematical derivation and equations. The third thing is that it is very poorly understood, okay. Uh, if you see many of the textbook and I have seen many uh, teachers also in the college level, university level that they don't teach this particular topic with much of uh, like uh, which, with relating it to the real world or with trying to relate it in such a way that students develop their in uh, interest in this particular topic. They just teach it. Uh, from the exam point of view, they just, just teach it in such a way that you can just solve the questions, okay, which should not be the approach, especially for the quantum mechanics. So this is something which is very important. So if the student will not understand quantum mechanics, they are not going to build up interest in that, right? So third thing is, it is very poorly understood. The fourth thing is that it is with the education system which we have. 
so i guess with all of us when we have up till uh, we have covered our class 12th we were not at all aware about this quantum mechanics okay up till our uh, senior secondary classes uh, we were not at all aware about it even in our bachelors also uh, we were introduced to quantum mechanics in physics in the third year of that so just let me know in the comment section that when in which year or in which class you were uh, like uh, introduced to this particular topic but i was introduced to this from the physics background in the uh, bachelor's third year but especially for those who are from the botany and zoology level so they come to know about quantum mechanics in their masters and that is a particular time where they are just given with a certain new things they have not at all understood anything about the basics of that so that is something which makes this topic itself very difficult to uh, like grab and to cover this up so if it would be included uh, in our uh, 12th class syllabus or in let's say bachelor syllabus that would have make this particular topic much easier to understand later on right so it is introduced very lately to our education system or the the educational level that i would say that is the fourth very important thing which makes it a little little difficult than the other topics the next thing is that it does not have that much practical examples to show for example if i have to explain you moment of inertia i can give you some real time examples i can make you sit in a car i can move that car and i can show you that how inertia of rest or inertia of motion works right but uh, i cannot show you uh, with the with any practical example that how a particular atom uh, has a certain energy level or it has a certain energy value so that is something which which we again come back to the first point that it is less relatable with the real world which makes it a little difficult topic now although we have this much uh, limitations with the topic we don't have these much understanding of it yet the topic is itself is very very interesting i would say okay so uh, i'll talk about that what are the things which you can do in order to build up your interest or in order to understand quantum mechanics so the first thing which you can do in order to understand quantum mechanics in order to approach quantum mechanics in order to start studying quantum mechanics i would say to approach it through some very good books okay i would not say to go for the textbooks which include lot of derivation and integration and equations because then again uh, you will feel uh, like you will feel that the topic has so much of mathematics in that i will suggest you to go for a comprehensive book and i will suggest you one book of that the book name is the feynman lectures on physics so although it, the, that books have that book has three volumes volume 1 2 and 3 that the quantum mechanics is covered in volume 3 of that book okay and that is uh, that book is written by uh, that book is actually based upon the lectures of the very famous scientist richard feynman and he was one of the best teachers apart from being a very good scientist so his classes or his uh, his book if you will read out you will find out that how uh, he has explained quantum mechanical terms in the form of your real world how you can relate the things so that is going to be a very interesting book okay Uh, I don't have that book right now with me because uh, uh, I'm not at my hostel. I I have that at my hostel, so I keep that book with me, and that's a very good book to read about. So instead of reading novels and all, you can just go for this book. At least once you should read. It's not very thick. It's a thin book only, and it covers complete com uh, quantum chemistry in a very comprehensive way. So uh, the link, if I will find out for the PDF of that book, I'll uh, put that down in the description of the video. the next thing which you can do apart from books now there are many other books as well but i have suggested this uh, book because that book i have studied so there are many other books which cover the comprehensive part of your quantum mechanics and um, i don't have names of them right now but if you know any of those books you can suggest that in the comment section below now the next thing is you can do is you can watch engaging or explanatory videos uh, on the youtube okay so there are many youtube videos which which are being done through the animations which try to explain you that how a particular quantum uh, function works okay so that has been explained through uh, like um, animations and through uh, different ways so those are very engaging and very good explanatory videos so if you will watch them uh, you will get to know quite a new things for example i would suggest you to watch a video on the schrodinger cat i would also suggest you to watch a particular video uh, on quantum entanglement so these are very uh, like very mysterious kind of things which can happen and there are a lot of paradoxes which are there in quantum physics which are needed to be explored so you can explore all of these things uh, if you watch a good videos on youtube so 
uh, you can just search out you can just find out the uh, the explanatory videos on youtube and just try to watch them i also try to like i'll also try to make some videos for you but it requires a lot of time so i cannot promise now but yeah in future i will definitely make a particular series uh, where i'll be including these types of videos on that on this particular channel the third important thing which everyone uh, loses out is to understand quantum mechanics rather than just mugging up the concepts okay i will give you a very simple example that all of us know that what is the like most of you who study quantum mechanics they know that what normalization equation is or how to find out a normalized wave function or how to prove or how to show that a particular wave function is normalized what does that actually means why a particular wave function has to be normalized or why a particular wave function has to be orthonormal so these are certain things which you need to understand once you understand these things about a particular wave function it will be much easier for you to use them during the solution of a particular question also very simplest thing is about operators what are operators why do we use them and why a particular operator is used on in quantum mechanics so these things you should know okay so uh, that is something which has to be like this has to be the approach towards quantum mechanics rather than just mugging up that what is operator these are the operator okay so and so is the formula for that so instead of mugging up the formula you should go for the understanding of the concept so this if you will go with this approach quantum mechanics will become very simple for you now when you study quantum mechanics there are certain questions which you should uh, like try to find out answers on the first one is that how does a particular atom look like does it look like how rutherford told us or does it look like how jj thompson told us or it has a certain different structure so these are certain questions uh, which you should look for and you should get the answer of them once we will start studying this particular topic also uh, like uh, how a particular bond is formed how does a bond look like how a bonding or an anti bonding molecular orbital differs from each other why do we have nodes why is it necessary to have a node what is quantum tunneling what is quantum entanglement uh, what is uh, like paradoxes and all so these are some very interesting things which you will find out in quantum mechanics and when you will uh, like find out the answers of this you will like these will give you a very satisfactory uh, feeling that yes you got something new to learn okay so try to go with this approach towards that particular topic and then try to understand it okay the last and the very important thing is uh, when you are studying chemistry this is especially for the chemistry students so try to relate organic or inorganic chemistry with the quantum chemistry especially the spectroscopic things which you have studied in organic and inorganic uh, spectroscopy try to relate that in the quantum chemistry okay uh, i will try to make some videos on these particular things and i am going to start a particular series on the channel called as quantum chemistry for beginners where i'll be explaining the quantum chemistry from very basic okay and that approach will be very comprehensive so don't expect that that particular series is going to be totally dedicated for csr net exam that series is going to be in such a way that Uh, you will find out many answers in that uh, regarding your quantum chemistry and it is going to give you a particular kind of uh, knowledge about quantum chemistry okay so that series i'm i'm going to start very soon on this particular channel uh, the series name i am going to put at quantum chemistry for beginners okay and uh, there i'll also try to relate organic and inorganic concepts with the quantum chemistry more so if you will study with these approaches uh, the topic will become much easier and much understandable to you. so that's all for this particular video i have just tried to compile these questions uh, regarding quantum chemistry because many of you were asking me that how to start studying quantum chemistry okay so this is how you should go with so start studying from some comprehensive book and after that you can follow some books for the textbook kind of books right uh, like you you can follow the book by ira and lemine that is one of the book which i used to follow uh, for advanced level quantum mechanics also you can follow a book by uh, macquery so you can go for these two books and i told you that what book you have to study for the comprehensive knowledge of the topic right so yeah that's all for this particular video guys once again if you are new to this channel if you have not subscribed to the channel do subscribe to it if you like this video give it a like if you want to ask anything you can ask that in the comment section below i'll see you guys in the next particular video till then have a great day